Hello, Hello, my copter friends. Yeah, today I want to make my first English video for my English friends. Um, and I will show you my new TBS KR Wing Pirinha. Um, it's a AR wing with a TBS Kaipirinha motor. I print a 3D print motor mount for this. Here you can see it. For that I could hear the fuselage out and put this mount in. So you can mount the motor perfectly. The motor comes more in the center from the wing, so the CG is better because I use a GoPro Hero 7 in my wing for hypersmooth so the video is very very good or better than original with the normal GoPro Hero 5 because you know a wing makes wobble and that's very bad in the air so I put this camera in yeah um, in Thingiverse you can see these things I put on um, this is a mount for the normal camera so if you land and hit this corner um, here I make some landing skits and you can you can start it better with this because you have more grip on it my crossfire antenna I put here vertical with this mount and here are my winglets that I constructed for a half a year um, some people in the INOF group print it and make it. Um, on my Thingiverse site you can download it and cut it with a laser cutter or something like that. Um, yeah, and I will fly this wing today and will show it you. I have programmed a hunt start. So I put on the GoPro with Piper Smooth. So you can see the video. I also record my DVR footage. So you can see the difference between DVR and the GoPro Hypersmooth footage. So I put the wing on. And so you can see all the telemetry. If I move the wing, you can see it here on the screen. And if it has GPS, the remote will say it. So we must wait for GPS and then we can go to Auto Launch. Again we have GPS and we can launch the wing. For that I will arm it, give throttle and then I only will put it in the air and so it flies. Uh, I fly to the mountain, or little mountain here, and fly back. So you can see the DVR and the GoPro footage. Um, cruising speed. Uh, sorry, I make the sound off. Um, the cruising speed, um, if I don't fly against the wind and up, is by nearly 80 kmh by uh, 2 or 3 amperes so I will show you yeah 2.2 .2 amperes uh, when I fly smooth up to 60 kilometers per hour with 2.3 amperes and hold it so you can long range with this very good um, if I fly a little bit faster the amperes drop up um, to 4.6 yeah, 4.7 and you can go up in the air and so you don't last speed yeah so we will fly back to the mountain 
fly a little bit more proximity to the trees. If you fly very slow in the mountains, you can fly with a 1300 milliampere pack. Uh, if you fly out between 800 and 900 milliampere, between yeah, 20 and 25 minutes. Um, if you fly here, and yeah, you can fly 15 minutes. So we came back. Here you can see how shaky the DVR is and how smooth the GoPro footage is. So we can make a little speed test in a few seconds where I can fly at full throttle that you can see what the wing makes. You can fly 180 kilometers per hour. Um, the motor is the original T Base Kyberinium motor, and I fly it with 6S. Um, it's no problem to handle 6S with this motor on a 7 inch prop. Maybe um, it go with a 8 inch prop, but the motor gets a little bit warm, so 7 inch is the perfect prop size on 6S for this motor. The good thing is on this wing, um, you have Kaiperinia parts on it, but it's very, very light. But uh, it's lighter than the Kaiperinia, so the hand start is very easy. And it's, uh, yeah, you get it all you can fly wing, or you can take it all you want wing to fly. It's easy like and spec wing to start and you have no problems yeah motor brake works well fine too the problem was on my chap ec i fly chap ec in it that motor brake is only work if you learn the ec from um, from zero to 100% of throttle and you must set the zero point at 20% of throttle so the motor brake is activated on minus 20% throttle and so it works yeah I love this wing and it's very cheap too uh, I will put my copy motor mount on Thingiverse so you can print your own. I printed it on uh, yellow ABS so it's very strong and stable and you have no problems if your motor gets a little bit hotter. Um, with the big winglets I designed, um, the flight characteristics are at yeah are thirty percent better than with the original ones. Um, you have a little bit less wobble on the char axis. I think you can see it in the DVR. 
that it's smooth. So you can see the DVR is very smooth even though it's very windy. Now we were landing. Um, That wasn't a good landing. Um, so I will show you the motor temperature after landing. Um, here you can say a 6S repo pack. And there I have the infrared thermometer. Motor is about 36 degrees, so it's very, very cool. It's not warm. That's okay for a big motor. Yeah, and it works perfect. I tested more motors on it um, at the size of 2507, but the problem was all these motors getting overheated and can't handle 6S. So I decided to put this motor on it and it works very well. I love this wing, it's my new favorite wing. Um, yeah, I hope you enjoy the video and if you want you can follow me and can subscribe my channel. And yeah, have fun. If you want to buy your own, get on Singleverse, take my files and have fun. Bye. Also with that fire, boy. Dave.